Hey gearheads and welcome to Grouse Shock. I'm Corey and that is the new standard of luxury when it comes to electric SUVs. That is the 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour. Now, if you've followed the channel for a while, you know that Mercedes-Benz actually gave us a 580 version to test not that long ago. But huge thanks to Clint and the team at Mercedes-Benz of Tyler for giving me this 450 Plus version, which is the more affordable option, but definitely not any less luxurious. Let's take a look right here. So very similar styling. There are some elements that distinguish this one from the 580 because that 580 really is the top trim. It's the most powerful and it is the most luxurious. Our 580 version was a three row six seater, seven seater. This one is a two row five seater. So there are some of the big differences there, but Really quickly, I did want to take you across the front. Similar grill up front. I, I guess we can still call these grills, even though there's no uh, internal combustion engine back behind there. In fact, we cannot, cannot even open the hood. That is for uh, Mercedes-Benz technicians only. And I'll show you a little trick here in just a second. But we've got LED lights up front and LED light bar going all the way across the front. Very nice, very upscale, very distinct when you see it driving down the road, especially at night. Now, you may be thinking this is the charge port because this is an electric SUV, and it's not. This is actually where you put the washer fluid because again, you can't open that hood. Part of that has to do with, this is one of the most aerodynamic vehicles on the road. Mercedes-Benz takes a lot of pride in that. And also there's a lot of uh, componentry to the ionization system underneath that hood. So they really just don't want you under there. So no front trunk in this vehicle. But when we get around to the back, you will see you don't really need it. We'll come down here to the wheels and tires. So these are Eagle Touring tires. And they are, if I can see right here, they are 275-45 R21 inch tires wrapped around these nicely styled wheels. They are on the aerodynamic side. They do help uh, keep air buildup and drag, aerodynamic drag from uh, accumulating in those wheels, but very nice. You can't tell it right now, but this does have 10 degree rear wheel steering. So this thing, while yes, you can get it in a three row SUV configuration, can turn on a dime. It's impressive how well this thing turns. If you wanna see our full driving review of the 580, be sure and go check that video out. You can see this one does have running boards, which this vehicle really isn't tall enough to need running boards. So I don't know that I would option for those, but uh, you can get them if you need them. Coming around to the side, you will notice the door handles have retracted into the side. That is a new Mercedes-Benz thing. The S-Class, the gas-powered S-Class even gets those, but you can see you push on them and they pop out and you can open the door. Just another little bit of aerodynamic trickery that the engineers have built into this. And then moving around to the back. Much like the front, we get a full width LED light running all the way across and LED running lights. You can see our turn signals are actually amber in color. So just a nice upscale European look there. And you may be wondering, okay, how do I get into the rear hatch and where is the rear camera? And the answer to both of those questions is right under here. So you push up on this and I'm not gonna do it all the way just yet because it'll open the rear hatch, but that is your rear hatch release. And when you put the vehicle in reverse, this also pops out and I'm going to see there is the camera right there, but now we've got the full hatch open. I did mention this is the two row version. So luggage space is ample in this thing. And I, I, I was impressed with just how much stuff I could get in this. This is our largest piece of luggage, but I'm actually going to pull this out and pull my backpack out to show you a trick that because this is a two-row version of a three-row vehicle, 
you do get a lot of hidden underfloor storage. So that's very typical to what we had in our three row 580. But then you can lift this up, pull this little uh, nifty hook out, hook that up on top of a uh, hatch there. And now you've got this massive underfloor trunk that was even big enough for me to get my backpack up into it, underneath it, and hidden without even really giving away that, <laughs> of course I need to change it, move it around a little bit, but yes, uh, this will latch into place and completely hides that I have that backpack back there. So very unique storage options back here in the back. So while you don't get a front trunk, you do get a very large rear trunk that you can swap for a third row of seats. And again, if you want to see what it's like with that third row of seats, just go check out our other video. If you need even more space back here, the back row does fold flat thanks to these electronically controlled buttons here on the side. And now we have an absolute massive flat load floor. And then if we don't need that, we can actually pull those seats right back up. One downside with power folding seats is sometimes, yeah, they take a little while. And then we do have a retractable sunshade, that cargo shade that can not hide any valuables you have back there in the back. Now you may be thinking this cream colored floor is not ideal. Mercedes did send a black cargo mat for back here. I just pulled it out so I could show you the flooring options. In fact, where that hinge is right there, that's about where these seats would come if you had the third row of seats there. So just wanted to keep that out and show you, but uh, why don't we close the hatch, take a look on the inside. All right, before we hop inside, I did want to show you the key. It is typical Mercedes-Benz premium key, very nice. Got a nice little bit of weight to it, real metal on it. Does have lock, unlock, and your hatch uh, release button there. So not a whole lot going on with this key. No remote start on the key. You had to do that through the app, but you don't need it on you because you can just walk right up to the vehicle. And even if the door handles are retracted like that, you can give them a little push and they pop out and then you can open them. You can lock the vehicle at all four doors by pushing that little spot right there. And then again, just give them a little push, they pop out and then you can hop inside. And oh my goodness, very luxurious. Let me pop right in, close the door, turn off those hazards, and appreciate the interior of this one. So again, on the 580 that we had, we had the large, massive, in fact, hyper screen. It was a 56 inch sheet of glass across the dash. I think this is actually a little more tasteful and usable, but we'll get into that in just a sec because I want to start over here on the door. Nice two-tone gray and beige interior. I really like the look of it. Our tester that we had earlier had navy blue. That is perhaps the only thing I liked about the inside better on that one versus this one. But you can see ambient lighting all the way around. Rose gold accents here that span the width. And then we do have three-person heated and ventilated seats up front. All your controls are here in typical Mercedes-Benz fashion. Lock and unlock right there. Your mirror controls, your window controls, and then real open pour wood. Uh, I really like this. It's a waterfall effect, and that is echoed on all four doors. And then a nice armrest right here, a little storage down below. And then there is your release for your hatch if you wanted to open it up from up front here. We do get a Burmester sound system with some speakers there. And moving around to the side, these turbine air vents, I love them. They have accent lighting in them as well. More open pour wood over here, some accent lighting underneath, and then your lighting controls, parking brake, and stuff over there. But let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Gives a typical Mercedes-Benz welcome. And then you can see it, uh, the gauge cluster comes on, full digital gauge cluster. It is customizable over here. You can control the additional screen over here. All capacitive touch here. You have to swipe for your volume, swipe for your, or hit for your cruise control functions. 
not the best, but also definitely very easy to learn and get used to. The steering wheel, much like the 580, is very comfortable, very cushy. I like that a lot. Typical Mercedes-Benz infotainment, it's the Mbux system, Mercedes-Benz user experience. I won't get too much into that, but I will say you do have different drive modes in this one. So you can see, you can swipe between them and see what all changes in between them. Your climate control uh, information is right here, and you can see uh, the ambient lighting changes as I hit colder and warmer. That is a feature that you can adjust in the lighting settings up here, but I don't want to get too far into that. Different buttons up here, including an EQ button that shows you your charge and all that information. Quick access to all your features right there. And then your radio controls right here. These are actually buttons, uh, but you can sw slide across it as well. And then your camera button right here. So I heard that rear flap open up as that camera came out. It is a 360 view. It is rather impressive and very interactive. So you can pan around and see exactly what you want to around you, or you can see and select specific cameras and zones if that is what you want to see. So very interactive, useful camera there. And then we get a lot of gloss black plastic here. Not my favorite, but I'm probably going to leave that open more often than not. Two cup holders here that you can just push down on and they rotate to actually be a cup holder or you can <laughs> rotate them out of the way and you've got a little bit of extra storage. This whole thing does actually pop out so you can have even more storage. I guess they want you to keep your key there and then you have Qi wireless charging up there. Two USB-C ports for additional charging. Uh, I'm going to put that back in place, lock it in, close that up, and then more gray accents here in this one on the center console. Two USB-Cs in here for additional storage. I like that, very nice. Passenger seat also gets three-person memory and heat and ventilation. You can turn heat and ventilation on simultaneously in Mercedes products. I like that more than I thought I would. I, at first, I thought it was a gimmick, but I really like it. See, these are very comfortable seats. They are perforated, again, to go with that ventilation and are very comfortable and supportive. And then we get more of that wood up front here in the dash. I really like the look of that. And then we get the haptic or um, taptic touch for the skylight, the sunroof, whatever you want to call it, moonroof. Uh, so that does actually open for the front seats. The rear glass is fixed in place. And then we have two power sunshades that come from this center bar right here. So uh, why don't we go on and go back to that second row and see what it's like back there. All right, going back to the second door, much like the front, very familiar controls and design here, more wood, very, very welcoming interior back here in the back. Popping in and closing the door, you can see flat load floor thanks to it being an EV. Uh, the wheels are pushed out fairly far to the corner, so sitting behind myself at 510, I've got an embarrassing amount of room here in front of me, so very spacious in here. Uh, I would say it's probably wide enough to get three in here, probably not for a trip any longer than two hours, but you could get three across back here, no problem. You do get two air vents back here, but not a whole lot else in the way of controls. You do get two USB-C ports down below in this panel that pulls out and a couple of map pockets on the back of both of the front seats. These are uh, softer injection molded plastic, but they are hard seat backs. So you can take a little bit of abuse back here. And then you can see we've got a nice view of the dual pane glass roof that goes way back over behind my head. So aside from this right here, I've got plenty of headroom when it comes to the glass section. But even sitting here, I've got this nice pillow on my headrest. And I do have power controls here on the door, so I can recline it just a little bit uh, and get really comfortable back here. I could, I could ride.
back here, no problem. Uh, I've already told you in our 580 review, these ride so well, so sublime, they just kind of float over everything. We do have a, a center fold down armrest here with pop out cup holders that aren't overly complicated, but uh, definitely are on the Mercedes side of ingenuity, if you know what that means. And then if you fold that down, you can actually pull a little leather, a little strap here, there we go, and fold down this center section for a big trunk pass through. So this is a 40-20-40 split bench. And if you needed some long items through here, you could. And that is how you access it by pulling down the armrest and pulling this strap here and folding that down. Uh, but you can see very comfortable, very familiar seat design to what's up front. No perforation back here because they aren't ventilated. These are not heated, but you can get heated rear seats. And then underneath this flap right here is where your rear child seat lower tethers are. But uh, yeah, that's a quick tour of this 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS 450 SUV in uh, this beautiful white color with the cream interior. If you want to make this one yours, go see Clint at Mercedes-Benz of Tyler. Let him know Corey sent you. If you want to see what else we are testing, because we're posting a new video every day for the month of January and a little bit into February, find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. Whatever platform you're watching this on, follow, subscribe, like, ring the bell, do all those things, comment, so the algorithm knows to show you more content from us as we go throughout this month, testing and doing quick tours of vehicles uh, from here in East Texas. But I have to take this one back to Clint over at Mercedes-Benz Tyler. Until next time, gearheads. Bye.